Temptation Island Season 5 Episode 3, If There Were No Cameras, gave viewers a better look at the relationships blossoming between the contestants, while setting the stage for the bonfires, where the most jaw-dropping information would be shared. Throughout the first several episodes of Temptation Island Season 5, the contestants who came into the experience coupled up with partners who'd done their best to disengage from their original relationships. The paired-up men are living with the single women, and vice versa, which has allowed them all to make new connections together. Still, the possibilities of temptation have been lurking around every corner, and seem more likely than ever. While Hall Toledano's relationship with Michaela Halstead has started to heat up, the new connections made within the villas, between Paris Pedro and Tajik Smith, as well as Rob Maldonado and Desiree Almedia, were featured heavily in the most recent episode. Though not every connection seems to be working out, like the relationships that Great Easy Hie is pursuing, the contestants have been open and honest with each other at every turn. They've taken the Temptation Island process seriously. Mark L. Wahlberg, the host of the series, popped in toward the end of the episode to shake things up. He invited the coupled-up contestants to private bonfires, where things got juicy. Ten Paris' date with Christian had her questioning her relationship as the episode opened. The women were seen discussing their recent dates in their villa. Paris, who'd been on a date with Christian Barbarich during Temptation Island Season 5 Episode 2, explained that her date with Christian had been wonderful. Shed enjoyed herself, and felt incredibly attracted to Christian, which left her questioning her relationship with her partner. While the date with Christian had been an eye-opening experience for Paris, she was interested in seeing if she could make any other connections within the villa, and discussed her options with the other women. The support between the women has clearly helped them to navigate the Temptation Island process. 9. The coupled up contestants made new connections Temptation Island gave a quick run through of all the new connections being made in the guys and girls villas. Within the girls' villa, Paris mustered up the confidence to ask Tajik out, in order to see if there was chemistry between them. Maricela Figueroa, who came to the series in a relationship with Christopher Wells, asked Sebastian Barraza on her next date. In the guys' villa, Rob asked Tia Hairston, even though his eyes seemed to be lingering elsewhere. Meanwhile, Great asked Tammy Lawson out, even though he's been interested in Nafisa Terry. Hall also asked Michaela out on their second date, making it clear he's serious about her. 8. Nafisa felt Great was playing games Nafisa has expressed interest in Great since the first episode of Temptation Island Season 5, and it seemed like the pair were building a connection after their last date. While Great has been interested in more than one woman throughout his time on the series, it seems like Nafisa caught his eye more than others. When she learned that he asked Tammy out on his next date, Nafisa made it clear that she was confused about Great's intentions. She told him that she felt like he was playing games, then expressed in a confessional that she wasn't going to wait for him to come to her. Seven Hall and Michaela got closer on a second date during Hall and Michaela's second date. Things got serious when Hall asked Michaela about her future plans. Though Hall is engaged to Caitlin Tufts, it's clear that he's already felt swayed by the allure of Temptation Island and Michaela, respectively. In the past, Hall separated from Caitlin in order to pursue other relationships so it's not surprising to see him moving into a new relationship. During their time together, Hall and Michaela talked about children, 
and their desire to have them in the future. Michaela got emotional, sharing with Hall that she felt ready to settle down in her life and have a family. 6. The guys' villa stripped down for a party during a night of spicy parties at the villas. The guys' party got a bit wilder than the girls'. The guys' party offered a stripped-down event, where both the guys and single girls were in as little clothing as possible, dancing and drinking together. During the party, it was clear which connections were staying strong. Paul and Michaela were only interested in each other, while Great was vacillating between Tammy and Nafisa. Christopher, who hasn't really shown much interest in the women before, was shown with Abby Bryan, and the two seemed to be getting along well. 5. Rob decided he was more interested in Desiree than Tia though Rob had chosen to ask Tia out on a date earlier in the episode. After connecting with Desiree, he decided that he was more interested in getting to know her. Though he nearly made a move, Desiree rebuffed him, and said that because Tia was one of her closest friends in the house, that Rob had to let Tia know he wasn't interested anymore, before they went any further. Rob uncomfortably called Tia over to the conversation, and tried to speak to her in front of Desiree, but the two were eventually left alone to sort things out. Rob made it clear that he was only there for Desiree. Four Hall expressed his doubts for his future with Caitlin during a moment alone with the guys, which was followed by some time alone with Michaela. Hall talked about the doubts he was beginning to feel for his fiancée, Caitlin. While Hall and Caitlin came to Temptation Island in order to understand Caitlin's doubts about moving forward in their relationship, Hall made it clear that he was feeling uneasy after meeting Michaela and getting to know her. He said that while he knows Caitlin wants children, he believes she wants them for him, rather than for herself. Seeing Michaela speak so freely about having kids made him doubt his relationship with Caitlin. According to Hall, he knew this would happen when they opened themselves up to this situation, which is why he didn't want to do this in the first place. Hall explained that though he understands Caitlin's reservations, he wasn't feeling certain about their future in the way he was just days prior. 3. The first bonfires were nerve-wracking Temptation Island host Mark interrupted the morning in the girls' villa in order to let the women know that they'd be having their first bonfire of the season later on, and gave them the opportunity to get ready. The series offers the opportunity for the guys and girls to participate in bonfires separately. At the bonfires, Mark shows each person a clip package of what's going on with their partner in the other villa. They are then able to assess their own feelings, and speak about how they wish to proceed on Temptation Island. To the women's bonfire opened their eyes the women's bonfire was shocking, leading to some of the most emotional moments of the season thus far. First, Caitlin saw Hall discussing his doubts with the guys, and then with Michaela. Shed previously seen Hall asking Michaela on a date, so seeing her in another moment was concerning. She didn't seem too phased by Hall's doubts, and said she was happy to see him opening up. Paris saw a cut of great saying that he didn't want to focus on her or their relationship, along with other women dancing on him. She broke down quickly, explaining that great doesn't make her feel safe or secure within their relationship. Vanessa Valente was shown footage of Rob during his breakdown from the previous episode, along with him saying he wasn't sure he'd be leaving Temptation Island with her. Vanessa, who is quick to anger in the first place, was hurt by Rob's words, and immediately withdrew. She didn't want to discuss what she'd seen, but did share that she was angry about it. 
Finally, Maricela saw a clip of Chris and Abby dancing, along with him complimenting her. Maricela shared that if Chris can find something better than her, he should take it. Mark pushed her to discuss this further, and Maricela explained she isn't who she want s to be. When the men's bonfire left off on a huge cliffhanger after the drama of the women's bonfire, the guys' event was off to a better start when Chris saw a clip package of Maricela. He was shown footage of Maricela crying in an interview segment, saying that she was finally alone, and getting some time to herself. Maricela shared that she was terrified to disappoint the people who loved her, and Chris said he was happy to see her being open about her feelings. Great was shown footage of Paris that shocked him to his core. Paris was shown getting a lap dance, and then saying she would have given into temptation if there were no cameras around during her date with Christian. Though everyone was floored, Great's true reaction won't be seen until the next Temptation Island installment. Sources Temptation TV Instagram Temptation TV Instagram Yeah.